approach it that way. Uh, North Naples, we've had 130 vacant homes up there. We've had eight sweeps with code enforcement with our community safety teams. Um, dealt with 29 foreclosed homes and code violations specifically that we dealt with. Next slide, please, Diane. Uh, you're going to see Ron Turry. He's our big guy. I don't know if you know him or not. He's a cop's deputy, big teddy bear. To look at him, he's like 6'8", probably 280 pounds. Um, wouldn't hurt a fly for the most part. And uh, just a super guy. And he just has taken this philosophy and really ran with it in North Naples along with code. And you can see him out there hand in hand. They get out there. They sweat. Um, they're not afraid of doing a little sweat equity and dealing with uh, code enforcement and some of the other groups, uh, utilities and so forth. And we clean up the neighborhood and we do it together. But we also have the residents there. We have the HOA members there. They are buying into this problem. Why? Because it's our problem together. Next, please. Uh, these are the dumpsters that we put out. Now, we, we do have people, i got to admit, that not only cleaning up uh, vacant homes, they're getting rid of their own trash. But you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll take that issue. That's still keeping our community clean. And uh, Waste Management has been a phenomenal partner in this, and uh, they've worked with us. And with that, you know, we're, we're working together. Uh, next, please, Dan. That uh, individual you see there, that's uh, Sergeant Walker. He's administrative sergeant up in North Naples. And he's coming out, and what he's doing there is he's dealing with a new resident moved in and helping how to uh, explain to him uh, what we call a community survey, uh, how to secure their building or their house, how to make it safer. Uh, and those are things that go hand in hand once we get new residents that move in. Next. Once again, that's just our community uh, policing. No, and I don't want to bore you with a lot of slides, and I'm going through it fairly fast here. These are just some of the things our community safety team get involved in. Um, we bring displays out because we want to educate people. And that's as a group. Code's always out there with us, along with the other uh, entities that have uh, partaken. Uh, Golden Gate, yep. And we have been hit heavily in Golden Gate area, to be honest. Um, but we have just had a phenomenal outreach and support from specifically the residents of uh, Golden Gate. I'm not going to bore you with the numbers. You can uh, grasp those really quickly. But I do want to show you some before and after because I think that is a telltale of how successful we are. As you can see, the picture up on the top there, you can see the siding's falling off. Uh, the banisters were broken. I mean, it really was a, a severe safety hazard. We came with code. We found them, determined them, made contact. And you see that picture on the bottom? That's the difference. It all came in, restuccoed. Uh, the banisters, everything was redone. Uh, tremendous, as you can see, tremendous difference there. Next slide, please, Dan. Literally a broken window. Uh, the next one, a broken window theory. Uh, as you can see, busted windows. Uh, the uh, siding stucco was starting to fall off. Got it all taken care of. You can see the picture on the bottom there. All redone. Next. That's a mess there with the, you'll see it, with the electrical uh, and all that. We actually had some squatters in these residences, which I'm sure some of you have been seeing in the news. Identified them, took the appropriate criminal action on that, uh, and then we also worked with code and other uh, public entities to get the wiring redone, get it painted, and get it cleaned up. Next, please. Once again, just the blight that you can see, uh, the before and after. Uh, once again, you know, the tenants, or I should say the landlords, they board up windows. I understand we got to keep the weather out, but who wants to buy a house next to something that looks like that? I don't, to be quite frank. I don't think anybody in this room really does. It's a temporary fix. We go in, we assist in making sure the building is secure, and then hopefully that it maintains that way. And uh, that's, uh, once again, the next slide, you can really see the difference. Uh, this is one of our proud things, our proud moments. You can really see the difference in that house right there um, and the action we took. But once again, it was, it was a joint effort with the community. Very few communities in this country are doing this, and, I, and I'm very proud of this. That's why I live in Collier County, to be quite frank. I've been here 20 years. It's home, uh, and we are different. We are different from Las Vegas. We are different from Phoenix. We're different from the county north of us, to be quite frank. Uh, and, and I got a lot of respect for Lee County, but we, we do things a lot different down here. And we do take home ownership, and that's a perfect example, literally, of what we do. That's the back of the same residence. The next slide, as you can see, um, just a total uh, transformation. Next slide. This is one of the disgusting ones I was telling you about. Um, these are some of the things that, that you get inside these houses that have been squatted in. Um, you know, homeless, uh, used as drug houses at times. Kids in the summer. This is a time of year we got to we really got to ramp it up too. Kids are out. Uh, if they're not in activities, guess what they're doing? They're going find these homes, getting in there and doing Lord knows what. Uh, either just destruction for the sake of having fun. Uh, before you know it, they can do twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars worth of damage uh, to a house. Someone's got to pay for that then. So these are the types of things that we're working on together as a community. 
Didn't want to bore you. I know I went through that very quickly. Uh, what I will tell you is it's a joint effort between NABOR, um, Code Enforcement, uh, the BCC, our representatives. Uh, I do want to throw Kathleen um, credit because she was at the forefront of this, uh, and all because of her ownership in this community and her ties to the real estate market as far as that's her background. Uh, and she really, really was a driving force in us coming together at, for an issue and keeping this community um, safe and secure, as was Sheriff Rambosk and his foresight. I learned, I always joke with him about his crystal ball, because like I said, in 2007, I would have never guessed we'd had the issues here that we did. Uh, and thank God we were prepared for it. Last part of our presentation, thank you for being patient. We hope you're enjoying the content. A lot of hard work has gone into this. Um, we're going to talk about the coordinated community response. You've just heard a great piece uh, about what the work has uh, been over the last several years that's been done in our community uh, through code enforcement and through the sheriff's office uh, and also through organizations like our Collier County Foreclosure Task Force, which I want to talk about for just a moment. I want to talk to you very briefly about the history of the task force. Uh, since 2008, early in 2008, um, the Legal Aid, Associ Legal Aid Service of Collier County and the Collier County Bar Association recognized that we were going to have a significant problem in our community caused by the growing number of foreclosures. And much like when you are in a neighborhood and you see your neighbor's house on fire, you don't sit around and say, well, I'm going to talk about the fire. And you don't sit around and necessarily say, how did the fire start? You just want to grab a hose or a bucket or do something to put out the fire. And that's exactly what we wanted to do. We wanted to provide real, meaningful help to homeowners, folks at risk of foreclosure, and get them that help as quickly as possible. And so we organized outreach events like this, and we've done so since 2008, and we've helped over 1,000 local homeowners who've attended events like this since that period of time. And we've also built a website, which you've heard about tonight, um, collierftf.com, that uh, we hope everyone has a chance to visit and continues to visit because we're always updating the content. I can't tell the story about the Foreclosure Task Force without talking about the volunteers. It's been the greatest honor of my professional career to work with these hardworking volunteers, attorneys, realtors, uh, other uh, professionals, governmental officials, as you've heard, folks that work for other nonprofit agencies other than mine, that have come together for one purpose, and that is to help the community, to help those who are really suffering as a result of the foreclosure crisis. And each Wednesday at the Greater Naples Chamber of Commerce, our volunteers meet for over an hour and discuss these topics and issues and discuss how we can bring help to the community. And they've done that since 2008. Thousands and thousands of hours have been donated to put on resources like this for no other purpose but because we care and they care. And it's extraordinary what they've done, what they've done since 2008. Um, it might be unprecedented not only throughout Florida, it might be unprecedented throughout the country as a volunteer initiative. This is 100% pro bono. Nobody here is soliciting any business, handing out any business cards, and nobody has since 2008. It's completely grassroots. And it's been an organically grown initiative that is powered by the strength of our volunteers, the quality of their expertise, and frankly, their commitment and passion. And I just can't tell you how proud, I, I just I can't express how proud I am to be a small part of this initiative, to be the chairman or co-chairman of the task force since 2008, along with Representative Pasadomo, the other co-chair uh, who's here tonight. Um, just thank you all for uh, uh, paying attention here tonight to learn a little bit about not only the resources that are available, but also to learn about our resource. Moving forward, we want to express to you, reach out to us. The Collier County Foreclosure Task Force is ever-changing. We don't put on this content because we decide to talk about an issue. Our presentations are different in 2012 than they were in 2008 because as we interact with the public, we realize what issues are important to you. So continue to reach out to us, continue to try to figure out those areas where you feel the community would benefit and let us know and we will do our very best to provide some free, safe and reliable resources. That's what we've done. We've tried to put together foreclosure prevention uh, initiative through education and intervention to not only save individual homeowners from foreclosure if that was possible, but to help them make the best decisions for them and their families if that wasn't possible. And also on a, on a big scale, on a macro level, the Coordinated Community Response Initiative 
uh, has grown over time. And as you can see, it's multi-agency, multi-party, and multi-faceted, and it's ever evolving. And as long as we hope that there is no foreclosure issues, problems, or crisis in 2013 or 14, but as long as there's an issue in our community that needs to be addressed, this group of volunteers will continue to be there to serve the community. At this point, what I'd like to do is let me take one minute to talk about legal aid and then I'm going to send it to Kathy Patterson who's going to talk about her agency, Housing Development Corporation, and then Bob Murray is going to talk not only about the involvement of the Greater Naples Chamber of Commerce in the task force since 2008, but his uh, viewpoints and other uh, factors, thoughts that he has about the initiative that he wants to bring to your attention. Uh, legal Aid Service of Collier County is a private law firm. It is a nonprofit law firm, and it provides free legal services to those folks who cannot afford an attorney on a host of civil matters. And you can access our website, which has been uh, promoted throughout this presentation, or call our main number, 239-775-4555. See if you're eligible for legal aid. We not only handle housing and foreclosure issues, we handle family law and a host of others. I don't want to list them all here. If you're in need of help, please reach out to Legal Aid. That's what we're there for. And we not only do it through staff attorneys, uh, but also through pro bono volunteers. All of the pro bono attorneys that were part of this panel tonight are part of what we call Collier Lawyers Care, which is our pro bono program through Legal Aid Service of Collier County in conjunction with the Collier County Bar Association. We have uh, about 180 attorneys in the bar who are willing to give their time through our task force on a host of issues, not just foreclosure, uh, through legal aid. And um, I'm very proud of them, I'm extremely proud of the work that they do for low-income clients, in the community who have matters of life-changing significance that they need addressed and they cannot afford an attorney and that's what we're here for so that's my agency that's what we do at legal aid and i'd like to now have kathy patterson talk about the hdc and then she'll pass it on to mr murray um i just want to reiterate that the housing development corporation offers free foreclosure counseling to anyone at risk of losing their home through foreclosure and I want to say again, this is a free charge. I have um, five full-time uh, counselors that are certified to um, in foreclosure um, education and are available to help. We are a HUD-approved counseling agency. Um, I want you to know that we're, we um, our office is at 3200 Bailey Lane. It's um, off of airport just north of Golden Gate. Um, aside from foreclosure counseling, which is a big portion of what we do every day, we also provide home buyer education, financial literacy workshops, and one-on-one -on -one with counsel with um, clients. We are do we do credit counseling, either pre-purchase or post-purchase credit counseling. And more recently we began um, starting uh, We've incorporated some counseling to help clients get back on track financially if they've suffered because of the economy. Um, you can visit our website, www.collierhousing.org. Um, our phone number again is 239-434-2397. So if you know of anyone that needs help, please feel free to give us a call. Thank you. She needs that. Would you repeat the telephone? Uh, 239 Four three four two three nine seven. Many thanks to you who have remained here. You came here hoping to get educated. We hope that we educated you. You came here for answers, and we hope we've given you answers that will enable you to take some of the stress away and go forward now in a more positive approach. For those who are here and who have affiliation with the Realtors, You've come here to get educated as well, and that is very appreciated because while there are lawyers who are perhaps less than, I'm not an attorney, so I'm going to say that they're less than <coughs> sincere, but I can tell you I've, I've now worked with these folks for a long, long time now. And I will tell you, they are most sincere because every Wednesday 
I open up the door to the chamber's leadership room, and we sit for an hour, perhaps two, sometimes longer, and the education that we give each other is remarkable. It has been my pleasure to be affiliated with these folks. It has been my pleasure to be a part of these programs where I know we are working to help the community by helping individuals because that is community, that is citizenship. And it's a wonderful thing to be a part of it. And everybody in this room who may have a problem, we hope that we will continue to see you here as a citizen of Collier County. We want to help you get over your problem. The information that has been provided tonight, some of it is complex. Much of it will not be recalled easily. But the good news is, is, and they've stressed it again and again, that information is available on FTF website. If you go to the website, you will have information that's current. Within a week or two or three, perhaps no longer than that, we will have this evening's efforts again on the website. So you will be able to bolster your knowledge and be able to focus more effectively. There was a county manager by the name of Jim Mudd, and he used to say, be brief, be brilliant, and be gone. I wasn't brief, but I will say we're gone. Thank you so much for your attendance. Thanks also to Nabor for allowing us to uh, have this presentation here tonight. Um, They're very gracious as uh, hosts for this 